Thing and welcome to my channel. This evening I'll be doing another compass video. And this evening I have two dashboard slash boat compasses. Both of which are well seasoned and both of which have seen a lot of action. Okay, I'll start with the smaller compass, which is a Ritchie. Uh, can be used as a boat compass or a car dashboard compass. It does have a light in it, hence why it's got this uh, uh, cable cord thingy. Um, I have linked it together uh, simply because of the fact that I believe that uh, it will never be connected to power again. So, but I have decided not to, I've decided not to cut the cable, I've decided to keep it as it is. Uh, this compass in particular, you can use on a boat, dashboard, or even um, or place it into your uh, bob, which is short for bug out bag. Um, you can even take this, it's compass hiking I guess it's small enough um, you can hold it in your hand like that and as you can see I am kind of I am facing northeast four degree. 34 degrees northeast. <clears throat> I always like facing north because north is positive, south is negative. Okay, moving on. Now, this compass here is a little bit bigger. I would, I would probably use this more for the uh, dashboard of a vehicle or a boat, whether it be a small boat or a bigger boat. It, this is well seasoned, but like I said, all of these compasses are still dead on accurate, no matter how old they are. Now, a lot of people will say, well, you know, we have GPS, we have all these other um, uh, other devices, smartphones, etc., etc. But <laughs> don't rely on techno on digital technology too much. I always say this because because yes, you can use a GPS on your phone. In fact, I record my videos on my phone. But Technology has a habit of failing, in a way. Well, for starters, your battery could drain. Uh, then you're up the creek with out any newspaper, so to speak. But if you have a decent compass on your dashboard and uh, you know how to read a map and you know basic orienteering, you can do orienteering in your vehicle. Simple. So you say you want to get to a certain location, you pull over, you check your map, you do your calculations. Yes, that will require using your brain. And then you basically, of course, keep an eye on the road, but also keeping one eye on the compass. So you're traveling along, you're on a dirt road, you're trying to get to your uh, friend's place who's just moved, Jimmy has just moved, tell you, and you want to get to his house. Oh no, I got no reception out here. I can't use my telephone. Aha, but I have a compass on my dashboard and I have a map so that's how you find your way 
Well, folks, there you have it. Another compass video. I hope you've enjoyed my video on um, dashboard slash boat compasses. Oh, uh, before I forget, um, yeah, you want a um, bigger compass like that. Because uh, a small compass like that could probably cause you an accident, you know. It's pretty hard to read, so you'd be leaning forward. Oh. But with this one, all you got to do is just glance on the side. Follow the little arrow marking there. There's a little marking there. So uh, when fixing this to your dashboard, make sure that this marking here is, if I can focus, is, come on. The phone is being a bit of a git. Come on, focus. Ah, there we have it. Is face, that little mark, marker there is facing you. Don't have the compass facing this way because as you can see on the back of it you can't really see um, which way uh, the uh, compass is pointing at. That's your pointer. <clears throat> anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Till next time, take care, God bless, and enjoy the great outdoors.